thought for the day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I was in the book of Isaiah, chapter 23. And as I went through this chapter of scripture this morning, when you come to verse 16, it is about a people in Tyre, the people of Tyre, and they're compared or reference is made to them to a prostitute. Now, often we think of prostitutes or prostitution, and I grew up in an inner city, and you would see like a, a woman uh, scantily dressed, trying to uh, provoke or entice men, especially young men and older men too, uh, to engage in some sexual acts. And it's often called the oldest profession in the world, and it is true, that what is that is what a prostitute is. But the Bible has to say much about prostitution other than just a, a woman uh, or a man. A man could be a male prostitute uh, in a sexual act. But Deuteronomy chapter 23, verses 17 and 18, the scriptures tell us that God warned his people that their sons and their daughters are not to give in to cult prostitution. Cultic prostitution engaging in the cult and the things of this world. That is why some scripture verses like Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 and Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2 tell us to not be conformed to this world, but that our minds should be transformed from this world to heaven, the things of heaven, not so much here. When we focus too much on the things of this world, we're actually committing spiritual prostitution. The world shouldn't be liking us. We shouldn't be like the world and the world shouldn't like us because Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior himself said in John chapter 15, verses 18 to 20, that the world hated him and that if we truly follow Christ, the world is gonna hate us also. First John chapter two, verses 15 to 17, and James chapter four, verse four, you could read those scripture verses for yourself, but basically says that we are not to love the things of this world. If we love the things of this world too much, we're actually an enemy of God. The book of Hosea in the Old Testament is a book of 14, verse, uh, 14 chapters. If you ever went through that book of Scripture, I hope you do, as you do any uh, book in the Bible. And it is basically the story of a man by the name of Hosea, who's named after the book. And God calls him to marry a woman by the name of Gomer. Gomer is a prostitute. And I believe, spiritually speaking, it is a beautiful picture of how Christ marries his church. Ephesians chapter five verses, Ephesians chapter five verse 32 speaks of the mystery of Christ uh, in the marriage institution between a man and a woman and how it is a spiritual picture of how Christ marries the church. And just as Hosea married Gomer, a prostitute, Jesus Christ marries us, his children. Prior to becoming a child of God, we were enemies of God. Romans chapter 5, verses 8 to 10. Read there. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 3 tells us that we were not just sick in our sins or paralyzed or blind in sin. We were dead in sin. But God, it says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, who was rich in mercy, makes us alive again in Christ Jesus. Basically, I'm trying to say, my brothers and sisters, that before we came to Christ, we too were prostitutes. Oh, maybe we weren't out in the street wearing some scantily dressed outfit, enticing people to come to us, but we were in this world. We were spiritual prostitutes. We were spiritually filthy, immoral, dirty. But God cleanses us. He washed us in the blood of Christ, as Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 tells us. And we need to be reminded of that each and every day, including myself. Where I was in, in the times past, I don't dwell on my past, but I do remember my past. And I try not to look at my past as a, a way to go into self-pity or depression, eh, tempting sometimes, especially after you lose loved ones that have gone home to be with the Lord that you miss here on earth. But as a monument of God's grace, you often hear me remind us in Joshua chapter 4, when the Israelites put the uh, stones in the river and God told them those stones, those 12 stones were monuments of God's grace to remind them that God had taken them from a land of slavery 
into a land with milk and honey flourishing. And we need to be reminded spiritually of the monuments of God's grace in our past, how when we were lost in sin, living for the things of this world, under the influence of Satan, living for our own selfish motives and our own greed and lust, and everything was about me, me, me. And God changed us and conformed us into the image of Christ. And he's continuing to do that each and every day. I hope today's devotional video, my friends, is a reminder for us all not to look down at other people that are caught up in some sexual sin or whatever sin, but to only remember that we are what we are by the grace of God. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. Remind us today that we are cleansed, not by our good deeds or our actions, but by the blood of Jesus Christ poured on Calvary on the cross for us. In his name we pray. Take care, my friends. God bless you all. Stay in the word of God and in prayer.